Well, you know, for me, here I here I had been the king in radio, and like, okay, I'm ready to go out there and really make it happen in my business. I know how to market. I know how to enroll with heart. I'm ready to really make this happen. So I went out there, started pursuing being a consultant, pursue speaking, and what I started seeing is that when it came to my own message, I was pretty fucked up. It was not good, you guys. This is not good. Here, I, I mean, I, I, I had taken the time to learn, to work, to learn. I had paid my dues, and I was ready to go out and make a difference in the world. And I was in, I was in my young 30s, and I started out there, and I went through seven different, 11 different iterations of my brand over seven years. And every time I did that, I was wordsmithing, building a website, trying to find out how to talk to my client, and I couldn't see. I couldn't see. Because what I learned and what I knew is that you pull the brand and the message, the brand and the message needs to be pulled out of you by someone you trust, someone who can see what they're doing. And I could not find that person who could help me find my message. I, I felt like I was complex and like I was different. And it's only a matter of time of, be, of believing in the dream and faking it until you make it, of acting as if until you look in the mirror and you feel like a fraud. How long can you continue that battle of looking in the mirror and going, you know what, I thought I deserved better, but obviously, I deserve what I got. So I started beating myself up, started making myself wrong, started overeating to be able to cope with the emotions and of overwhelm and failure, had a, had a divorce, had a devastating loss of my ex-wife, lost both of her parents within six months of each other after our first year of marriage. That added to the stress, added to the overwhelm. I'd look in the mirror, I'm seeing a a young man getting fat and losing confidence. How the hell do you relate to your customers or speak from the stage and inspire people when you're in that situation? So I was spinning my wheels over and over again without the ability to really even understand why I was having such a hard time. So I had two parts of me. I had this one part of me that's going, ah! It wasn't funny. And then I had this other part of me that's like, Mark, there's something there. All the work you've been doing, all the things that you've been studying, all the gifts that you've been given, they're there for a reason. You have to keep going. Keep putting one foot in front of the other. Keep hiring a coach even, you can't afford, even though you can't afford it. I hired good ones and I hired bad ones. But I always made distinctions that moved me forward. And that's when I, that's when I got really real with myself. I looked in the mirror and I said, Mark, you've been out of integrity. You're not walking the talk. You're not doing your spiritual practice. I hadn't been studying A Course in Miracles. I wasn't speaking, and I wasn't doing my yoga. So I got up the next day, and I started down that path. And it wasn't before too long, I started getting speaking gigs. I started getting a few clients. I was working with executive and powerful women entrepreneurs who needed to dial in their message. And that's when I met Janet. 